Hello everyone. Thank you very much for switching to this video. First thing first, this review is solely of my own opinion. I didn't expect people to feel the same, but please, please, no hate on me. Personally, I enjoyed watching this movie and without hesitation, I rate this movie 8 over 10. My review on Edward Scissorhands. For those who do not know of this movie existence, Edward Scissorhands was out on December 6, 1990. Yeah, I know it's quite old for some people, but for me, it is still relevant even though it looks like 29 years has passed. For those who only watch movies that out recently or maybe few years back, it is actually a loss. Trust me. I can give you a guarantee that a lot of good movies were produced during 80s to 90s that you shouldn't miss. My personal opinion, I recommend The Outsiders, The Princess Bride, and Die Hard. What can I say is try to give these movies a shot. Edward Scissorhands is a 1990 American romantic dark fantasy film. Just come home with me. Joyce, I just saw this strange guy driving with Peg. Did you get a good look at it? Hi! Scissors! Whoa! Look at my handshake you got there, Ed. <laughs> Kim, this is Edward who's gonna live with us. Well, this must be quite a change for you, right, Ed? Those things are cool. Can I bring show and tell on Monday? He's a highly imaginative character. It seems clear that his awareness of what we call reality is radically underdeveloped. Eddie, you take my very breath away. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh. <laughs> is there some special lady in your life? Hey, the whole doctor is skewered, kid. Just a scratch. The power of Satan is in him. I can feel it. in my gut there was something wrong with him from tim burton comes the most incredible tale of a most unusual character edward scissorhands hold me i can't this film was directed by tim burton Produced by Dennis Dunovi and Tim Burton himself. Written by Caroline Thompson from a story by Tim Burton and Caroline Thompson again. Starring Johnny Depp as the main actor, many say that he actually accepted this movie offer in order to escape from teen idol status that he had created in 21 Jump Street. But it seems like he obtained a new status of fantasy character when he played a character in Pirates of the Caribbean and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. While the female lead was played by Winona Ryder, before doing Edward Scissorhands, she played a supporting role in the film Lucas. She rose to prominence with starring roles in such films as Heaters in 1988 and Mermaids in 1990. He had a big success, he is one of the recipients of Golden Globe Award and has been nominated for two Academy Awards, a BAFTA Award and four Screen Actors Guild Awards. Edward Scissorhands was released to positive feedback from critics and was a financial success. The film received numerous nominations at the Academy Awards, British Academy Film Awards and the Saturn Awards, as well as winning the Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation. Both Burton and Alfman consider Edward Scissorhands as their most personal and favorite work. Some people might define this movie as a Halloween movie. Well, I cannot really blame them when Tim Burton is the director of the movie. But as the majority, I think this was the most to watch during Christmas. The movie itself contains a like love story between Edward and Kim that I guarantee will melt your heart. The story starts when an elderly woman tells her granddaughter the story of a young man named Edward, who has scissor blades for hands. As the creation of an old inventor, Edward is an artificially created human who is almost completed. The inventor homeschools Edward, but then he suffers from a heart attack and dies before he could attach hands to Edward. 
Some years earlier, back box, a local door-to-door -door saleswoman visits the decrepit Gothic mansion where Edward lives. She finds Edward alone and offers to take him to her home after discovering he is virtually harmless. Pack introduced Edward to her family, her husband Bill, their young son Kevin and their teenage daughter Kim. As time passes by, Edward finds himself to be in love with Kim. Following the success of the movie, many said that the movie consists of good elements and strengths that made it into a big success. One of the strengths are the storylines, which is Edward who was isolated by society and was made fun of by the husbands in the neighborhood are still relevant and relatable to young generation. Eddie, Eddie, oh, oh. the guys and I were talking. Now we'd like to invite you to our card game Friday night. Huh? Would you like that? Only thing is, you can't cut. <laughs> <laughs> Next, in my opinion, the chemistry between the male lead and the female lead actress were very good. They portrayed some good like love scenes. You're here. They didn't hurt you, did they? Were you scared? I tried to make Jim go back. You can't make Jim do anything. Thank you for not telling them that we... You're welcome. It must have been awful when they told you whose house it was. I know it was Jim's house. You did? Yes. Well, then why'd you do it? Because you asked me to. Cuba! Kiwi! Hey! People cannot argue this when Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder were actually together. On the other hand, every angle that was shown in the movie left audience in suspense. What can I say is, it's genius. Nothing is perfect and so does what I think towards this movie. In my opinion, there are some weaknesses that bother me a little. One of those weaknesses are the storyline is way too predictable. Yeah, I love the fact that this movie contains a light storyline and relatable to our life. I mean, yes, except the fact that to bump into someone who has scissor blades for hand, it suits the best to watch while sipping coffee in front of fireplace. But I think a little twist might be necessary. Other than that, I think British idea in producing movies are always the same. I mean, it's kind of a bit boring. To reference, there are some related movies that have similar storylines. Those movies are Friends with Benefits and Love and Other Drugs. These movies are about two strangers meeting each other and had sex but do not want to be in a love relationship. But at the end, they end up together and go smoothly just like what audience predicted. In my opinion, these movies are predictable just like Edward Scissorhands. Compared to the movie One Day, they end up being together but a little twist was put into that movie whereas the female lead died and left the male lead struggling to live without her. After all, we know much this is more realistic. Next, as we can see from some of Burton movies, I do not see his idea of improvement. This can be seen from his other movies such as Beetlejuice from 1988 and The Corpse Bride from 2005. Why I say it's almost the same? 
because it always requires some characters to die in order the story to start and problems to take place. To sum up, I really enjoyed watching this movie, even though there are some parts that actually dissatisfy me. But I believe that these weaknesses might be sounding like attraction to some people. Next, the moral values were delivered successfully to the audience. In my opinion, one should not care a lot about how people will accept who we are because no matter how much we try, it is no use. Just like what has been shown in Edward Scissorhands. Whatever it is, I enjoyed watching this movie and totally recommend this to the people. Some might complain and dislike this. After all, it does not matter because in reality, nobody can produce a masterpiece that will satisfy everyone. Last but not least, this movie is rated 13 plus. So parents, please make sure to watch your kids. Other than that, instead of seeing the weaknesses of the movie, try to look for the values that the movie is trying to deliver. So that is all for this video. Again, thank you very much for spending your time to watch this video. And may we meet again in the next video. Bye-bye.